episode one of season four, we caught up with a fantastic new band, a project called Headbangers Ball. We caught up with them backstage just before they would take the stage in only their second ever show. You'll recognize almost all of the members of this band. Jane Train from M80 and Liz Fair. Johnny D from Dora, Brittany Fox, and Wasted. Virus from Device, Dope, and Big and Rich. Nick Douglas from Doro and Deadly Blessing, and Joe Taylor from Doro, Cycle of Pain, and Lita Ford. You'll have to excuse the backstage noise during the interview because it was just minutes before they would take the stage on their second live performance ever. This is Headbangers Ball. Hey, I wish I liked it. Yeah, man. Well, listen, what I want to ask you about is, is this project. How did this come together? Um, actually, they needed a guy to play guitar, and I was like, you know what? I'll join up. <laughs> no, I was trying to, uh, actually, like, we're, we we all do different things, and um, I know for me, like, I'm just looking to play, and I'm buddies with Johnny D over here, and uh, same thing, he's off, off tour, I'm off tour, and then we hooked up with, uh, with Janet, and here we go. I mean, I don't know how you're ever off tour because, okay, so you're doing the device thing. And, They're in and, break. And, of course, I believe everything I read on Wikipedia, so I'm assuming all this stuff is true. So are you still doing, like, the Rock of Ages stuff? Yeah, yeah. And tell people about that. I mean, no, like, how long have you been doing Rock of Ages? I've been doing that for, uh, since 2010. And, uh, I actually played last week. I'm playing, uh, next week. Uh, you're in New York City. Stop by. Um, and that, that's just a lot of fun. I'm actually doing... Um, we're going to be on a cruise for 90 days, and the Rock of Ages is one of the uh, things on the cruise. For 90 days? Yes. Wow. Uh, we thought we were doing good when we went on Monsters of Rock. And, 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 like, and, and we miss you guys being on Ship Rock. You know what? The device is supposed to be on Ship Rock? Yes. Yeah. That's why I said we miss that you guys are taking off of it. Believe me, I get the, 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 the fans every day. Oh, what happened? You guys can't. Yeah. Not my fault. We understand, <laughs> you know. Definitely not my fault. Family comes first. Yeah. So how are you, like, who does your scheduling? Because you're playing with the voice. You used to, I guess you're not playing with Big and Rich anymore. Did no, you play with Big and no. Rich yeah, for yeah. a while? How, how do you manage playing all these Well, games? you know what it was? Is like if Big and Rich, if I was still with them, I'd probably still be doing it. But that ended, and then, you know, I've always got dope, so I've been doing that in life. It was my whole life. And, uh, but, um, so, I mean, I, I've been focusing on that for the last year, but now that's slowed down, so doing stuff like that. Device got some really good feedback. Got good feedback from us that we saw you at a rock on the race. Oh, that was a good show. Man. Yes, it was yeah, a good so show. Really good show. Was that, now, what was the biggest yeah. device show of the year, would you say? Um, what did we do? Um, I mean, we saw you at Rockfest too we did. in Wisconsin. Yeah. You know what? That was a big one. You know yes. what? That that one's like fifty-five thousand people. Yeah, and Adrian from Otherwise got on the stage, yeah, which we were, we were so over on. We were actually talking to Adrian when he had to run off to get on, or not Adrian to his brother Ryan yeah. when he had to run over. He's like, wait, that's my brother singing. Let's go. Yeah, like that. That's a big one, and I've done that before with Dope uh, back in the day. But uh, we did a lot of big ones this year. So it's always those big festivals. Yeah. How do you manage to keep your repertoire? <laughs> Going in your head with all these different bits. You know what it is? You have to when you do several gigs, you have to maintain. And what that means is, is like I might not have a rock of ages for five months because I'm on a device or dope or something like that. But like I'll run through it because you might get the call like three days later. Hey man, you're off. Can you come to the gig? And one of my new show up there and not know it and like you know like be head, you know. So you gotta you gotta kind of maintain everything that you're doing just so it's kind of all fresh mm -hmm. so i, I kind of have the schedule i got on my calendar so i gotta rehearse uh tony harnell today <laughs> but like the gig's not for a month away but like you gotta make sure you maintain it. The, the more i like the more i read it the more i can't believe how much stuff you do so tell us about spider-man too oh spider-man that was a heartbreaker that was a heartbreaker because that was what year was that I didn't write down the year. You know what it might have been? 2009? Well, what happened was, like, they were auditioning the band for the show. 
and all the music is written by the Agent Bono, right? Yeah, yeah. So I go in there and uh, I audition for the show and I get the gig. It's me, Ben Butler, and Matt Back, who plays for Matchbox. Yeah. So it's us three, right? And you know, rehearsals are going to happen and blah, 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 blah. And um, what happens is the lead that they hire for the show is in a band at Interscope Records. And his brother's a guitar player, and he's got two other guys, drummer, bass player. So their management calls up and goes, okay, well, my guy has a gig. He's like, I want my band in the show then. I want my guy's band in the show. So then people have to get bumps. I get bumps. Uh, my buddy playing drums gets bumps. So, I mean, it's one of those things that, that was, that's what I mean by heartbreak. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Politics, you know, that it plays a part <laughs> in, in, in what we do. And you just got to go, well, it happens. And then you move on to the next thing. Disappointing, but a really good experience. So. so, don't know if you can leak it before we talk to the other band members, but what's your favorite song in the set list tonight, you are? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I like rap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I'm that guy. Uh, I'm a Morty Rocky fan. Uh, George Lynch fan. Yeah. So, we'll well, man, listen, it's good talking to you. We'll yeah, talk likewise. to the rest of the band here if they're not uh, in a bad condition where we can't. Johnny D's right. Look how hot he but, uh, is. Yeah, get into yeah. it. Yeah. Woo! Johnny D. Johnny, man, tell us about this project, man. How long has this been in the works? Oh, sorry. It has uh, not been in the works that long, but uh, we have all played together. You can go through if you want. Yeah, come on. Hey, man, we're waiting for a few. It's just weird because we all work together at so many different points. I mean, I did a quick gig with Bye one time, and Jane and I have been trying to hook up together for so long, and then just the timing kind of worked. Because uh, she uh, was doing a special event, which was going to be a one-time thing at Headbangers Ball, um, and it didn't work out that all the special guests could get involved. So we thought about like, let's just make it a band, so I know like everyone's going to be available at the same time. And and, uh, and then that was that was the basic concept, and just for something for us all to do when we're off the road. And, uh, like you're not busy enough, right? Yeah, yeah you're never busy <laughs> enough. Not for me. I mean, you know, Doro keeps us busy, but it's, uh, there's always some breaks in between, and everything starts to get real stiff, and you know. We try to keep the chops going, you know. And this, the music's so fun, man. I mean, it's like stuff we grew up on. And, you know, how do you guys pick this? So it's like, oh yeah, how do you, how did the set list? They had it on Facebook. <laughs> Why didn't you put it no, on Facebook? We had, I yeah, didn't see we any had rip. Origin, uh, original pool of, of songs and ideas. I think Jane was pretty much the person that, you know, sort of planner as far as that all goes. But, no, but I mean, there's so much, it's such an extensive pool to take from. It's like, where do you start and where do you end? Like, we, you know, we have two sets of material and we haven't even touched some bands yet. It's crazy how much cool stuff there is. So as it grows, you know, I'm sure we'll get into some deeper cuts. I mean, there's still some big bands that we aren't doing yet, so we're going to just keep it going. So there's, that, there's three people from Doro in this band, right? And one yeah. former Doro member? Or well, two, two, two current, current, one former. Two current, one former. Yeah. So we're going to hear some Doro yeah, tonight? Yeah, I'm going to ask you that next. <laughs> I can't answer that. Okay, well, it's a surprise. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna request one anyway, right. just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have a, a the usual well, request. You know what? I love, I love I love the new one, man. I love the raise your I love raise your fist. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was gonna do that. One. I wonder if Dora would mind. I'll have to ask her. I can't what answer time that. Is it in right now? I got everybody but her in the band. You might as well just yeah, right. put her in. <laughs> her in I don't care. She's awesome. Dual front women. So so yeah. this is the second yeah. show for this band. Are, how many more are in line? And how, are we gonna see more of you guys? Oh, absolutely, man. As long as we, uh, you know, we can get our schedules fired up but we're looking into 2014 right now and, and what the possibilities are and uh you know we would love to take it over to europe and stuff you know what i mean we're that's gonna be the next thing i was going to ask you is if you want to take this over here absolutely because you know that's i have a big you know family over there i mean i know so many people over there a lot of promoters and fans and people we work with with doro and so it's it's a no brainer to take it over and people love this stuff all over the world. I mean I go to places like you know Eastern Europe and Russia and people are like, dude, what's up with Britney Fox? Like ask you know, and there's so many albums from back in the day. So you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't bring some music like that to Man, you know, I have a hard time picking you out on those Britney Fox I know. I, look, I agree. I agree. I which one is you all the time. Yeah, <laughs> you don't look the same. I'm the guy with the big bulge now. <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck in the background. Straight out of spot on her. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Learned a lot from that movie, you know? <laughs> well, listen, man, we're looking forward to seeing you on the ship, first of all. Shiprock, oh, yeah. Doro, this year. Oh, Monster Shiprock. Right. No, I Monsters. Do Monsters. Okay, I'm doing it in reverse this time. I got Device seven with Shiprock. Times. I have. Yeah. 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 There's so, so many of them now, it's kind of hard to... I've been yeah, we're on both. This year, so. the, we're on the, the two. Okay. Yeah, yeah Monsters and I, and I, of Rock Cruise, Doro, and uh, Headbangers Ball in 2015. Awesome. Yeah, we're already booked. We are. Awesome, man. We so awesome. we love it. I was going to add it. That's a, that's a great addition. You stole my next question. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. And we're hoping for that. But yeah, as you said, for the future, we're looking at whatever we can do. But it's a, it's a cool, you know... It's a cool um, style, I mean, a time in music, which we all love, so why not yeah, enjoy man. it and go out and <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure, I thought it was like... <laughs> I think it's a raw interview. interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's house. So, we on? House yeah, man, okay. Okay, well, let's start off with a question. Is it Angela, Angelica Houston or Angelica Houston? Houston. <laughs> it's Houston? You know... Yeah, which is it? I have no answers. <laughs> unless, unless she's a rock musician, I don't even know who they are. So. <laughs> Angelica Hudson, she played a, a Morticia in the Addams Family movie. Oh, cool, yeah, okay. Right. There was a time yeah. when she was hot. Like in the 70s. Yeah, when uh, she looked like that. <laughs> she's the male, uh, oh, so that's where this reference came from. Wait, I think it might have been Mary. 